Organizers like to say that the Olympic Games are a great showcase for a city or region and will lead to a huge future influx of visitors. But what about when your city is already number one when it comes to tourism? Elaine Kobe checks out the crowds in Paris. Paris is the most visited city in the world, with tourists regularly naming it their favorite vacation destination. They stroll along the Champs-Élysées, climb the Eiffel Tower, and sample French cuisine. More than 300,000 people are employed in travel and tourism in Paris. Most of them expected this summer to be especially profitable, but they were wrong. There's lots of visitors and tourists in the city for the games, but as far as food tourism, it's been quite slow compared to most summers in the past. This is a new creation for the Olympics. Jennifer Greco runs cheese tours, but says work has dried up this summer. It's between like 40 to 50 percent, yeah, so it's a lot. Part of the problem is that visitors not interested in the games simply stayed away. People that are thinking about coming to Paris for holidays, most of them decided not to come because number one, the city is very congested. Number two, the prices are really high. The tourists just simply don't want to deal with it. Those who came for the games aren't spending money like the usual tourists. Fewer are visiting museums and restaurants and cafes have seen a sharp decline in numbers. When I met the games, are there huge, very long lines, but when you're at restaurants or out to events, it's very um, empty. <laughs> Some Olympic fans simply abandoned Paris after seeing their events and headed to the beach. We went to go and see the rugby women's sevens, which was fantastic. We then took a flight directly over to Marseille and wanted to link it with a wonderful holiday as well. So we went to go see the sailing yesterday and we can see it from here, which is fabulous. Over here. Greco heads on vacation later this month. She says business is looking better for this fall. I'm not too worried about the summer being quiet because I think my last quarter will be fine. It'll make up for it. It's not unusual for host cities to see a drop in tourism in the year of the Games. But some, like London and Barcelona, saw a jump in the years immediately afterwards. Having spent $12 billion on these Games, Paris will be hoping the boom is on its way. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Paris.